No fractured dimensions. Fractured dimensions? Surely you've noticed them. Worlds like ours, but not? How could you possibly eliminate an entire world? <laughs> that is a question for our friend Luger here. His Chromatis transformation has the power we need to infiltrate and destroy these parasitic realities. The power to destroy a world. Steal yourself, Agent. I wish we could ease into this, but time is of the essence. You'll have to train the hard way. Actual combat. <laughs> Don't interfere. <clears throat> Show me what you're made of. That's enough for now. Still no match for Julius, though. So that's a Chromatis. Where'd Luger learn that trick? It's a family trait. He's one of Kresnik's descendants. See his watch? It's a Kresnik heirloom, passed down for generations. It's the key to the transformation. Though it would seem Julius has been using yours all this time. That's not Luger's. It's my daddy's. We're talking about Kresnik, the Genesis Sage, right? The one who wielded the Lance of Will? The Sage Kresnik? Yes, I seem to recall that name from Rize Maxim legend. So the tale is different here in Olympias? If Kresnik wasn't a Sage, what was he? A wretched plaything for the spirits. They granted... No, they cursed the Kresnik line with the Chromatis. But Kresnik's curse is humanity's weapon. And you, Luger, will master it. I will contact you when we detect a new fractured dimension. Until then, rest up. Look, Luger, I really hate to bring this up, but... You've been neglecting your loan payments lately. Nobody likes a financial deadbeat. So much for resting up. Just a moment. I almost forgot to give you your world map. It's standard issue for all DODA agents. I'm sure it will come in handy in your pursuit of Director Kres... Pardon me, the former Director Kresnik. A great spirit that lives in the land of Canaan. We gotta find this Kronos guy and ask him where Canaan is. You're really obsessed with that place, aren't you? What's wrong with that? I've got a one-track mind. <laughs> you do? <laughs> I know it means something good. Daddy used to say that Mommy had a one-track mind, too. He says I take after her. Hmm. Must have made for quite a marriage. Did you say something? No, not at all. Just that I, uh, envy your old man. Right? And you sure love your daddy. I don't love him that much. But he really seems to like me. So, I've got to keep the promise I made to him. No matter what. Vera from Spirius Corporation here. We've detected a new fractured dimension. As a dimensional agent, you've been assigned the task of eliminating it. This is your first mission, so please make sure that you're fully prepared. Then come to the Spirius building. Think we'll find Glasses Guy there? Oh, or maybe the spirit that lives in the land of Canaan. <laughs>
told you that's a company secret. But my lips are sealed! You must know what happened to Julius, right? Mr. Kresnik. Luger, hey! Right around the water cooler is a certain someone just got hired as an agent. Congratulations! Like big bro, like little bro, right? I know how much you wanted the job. Thanks. Why's the lone lady here? Just gossiping with my twin sis. Oh, you do look alike. Hey. Nova, we've got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should probably get back to bean counting. Oh, almost forgot. Let's all get together to celebrate your new job whenever you're free. I can't believe he told us all about that fractured dimension stuff. Obviously, he wants us to come along. We're already in it. If the fractured dimensions really are interfering with Spyrite technology and endangering this world, then there's no way I'm sitting out this fight. And that means we need your help. Okay. Very well. You may all assist Mr. Kresnik in this operation. However... Everything must be kept in the strictest confidence, am I correct? I'm glad we have an understanding. Now, allow me to commence the briefing. Cool! Agent talk! The object of each DODA operation is to infiltrate a fractured dimension and destroy its divergence catalyst. All fractured dimensions form around a catalyst. It could be an object, or perhaps an entity. So, how do we find it then? It's typically the object or entity that differs the most from its original nature in the prime dimension. You'll need to be cautious, particularly when the divergence catalyst attaches itself to a person. I've transmitted the coordinates of the target rift to your GHS. Use it to enter the fractured dimension. I guess this explains that funny feeling we've all been having. It's Triglav Central Station. I suppose it would follow that this is the rift. But are we really in a whole other world right now? It doesn't look any different to me. We've confirmed your entry into the fractured dimension. Commence your search for the divergence catalyst. You can thank your Chromatus for that. It maintains a link to the Prime Dimension. We need to look for whatever seems most out of place in the Dimension, right? Correct. The Catalyst should reveal itself when anyone with a Chromatus approaches. And if we destroy it, the world will disappear. Exactly. But there's a catch. Only the wielder of a Chromatus can destroy the Catalyst. Wait, really? So the only one who can find and destroy these Catalysts is Luger. Well, that kind of takes the fun out of it. One last thing. So long as the Divergence Catalyst exists, you cannot return to the Prime Dimension. <laughs> you never told us that! I guess there really is no turning back, huh? So much for goofing off on the job. The train to Oscorp will be departing from Platform 1 shortly. Again, the train <laughs> to Oscorp will be departing from Platform 1. The Oscorp train's still running? Maybe in this alternate dimension, the hijacking never took place. We cannot just blithely assume that. We have much to learn about this world. It is fishy that Oscorp is still in one piece. Let's investigate in two groups. Okay, Jude and I will ask around town. Luger, you handle Oscorp.
So it seems Luger's Chromatis is the key to destroying these fractured dimensions. And our job is to gather information and support Luger in combat. Yes, we'll do everything we can to help. We're the wind beneath your wings! <sighs> you guys aren't scared of Luger's weird powers? Like, at all? We have something of a knack for encountering weirdness. The Lord of Spirits, Dimensional Breaches... Talking stuffed animals? I bet Jude said pretty much the same thing, didn't he? You called it. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah. But it still scares me to be destroying worlds. Myself as well. The enormity of such a deed is almost more than I can grasp. But we've been through too much to turn back now. Whatever the sin we have to bear. plant it's a factory that puts out veggies and stuff like that puts out weird vibes too it's pretty standard for Olympias well except for its size none of the others are this big well if it isn't Alfred how the hell you'd address the heir of the Sven family like that or has your mind strayed to a time when you were still the legitimate heir are you telling me you're the heir you know this guy Knew him, more like it. It appears he has confused you with the Alvin of this world. He looks like a bigwig to me. If you act all buddy-buddy with him, maybe he'll let us in. They don't really have that kind of relationship. Is it inappropriate? How come you even know that word? Don't forget we're in a fractured dimension. It just might work. Right. Forgive me, Uncle. I must have forgotten my place. You are forgiven. I was hoping you'd give my friends a tour of your amazing plant. Why not? As you know, the great spirit Asuka was thought to be nothing more than legend. That is until I found, captured, and bent it to my will. Asuka's spirit power is more than sufficient to operate this facility in its entirety. I've never even heard of that spirit before. I have no doubt spirits will become a crucial resource in Olympias, the very key to its future. Hey. My uncle's not the catalyst, is he? So, uh, do you keep Asuka down in the basement here, or what? There is no basement. Asuka's imprisoned in the central portion of the dome. Well then... Ooh. That was disrespectful, huh? Alvin, was that really necessary? Well, if he's not the Divergence Catalyst, then I'd put my money on that Asuka spirit being it. But it's not like he was gonna sit back and let us thwack it, right? Indeed. And after all, we did come here. To put this world out of commission. Isn't that right, Luger? tomatoes. Want to see how many I can fit in my mouth? Are you a good cook? He's pretty good. Really? I'd love to try your tomato omelet sometime. Ah, but roasting a tomato retains its juices and is not to be underestimated. Tomatoes are gross. I'm with you. I draw the line of ketchup. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> you do eat like five-year-olds. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. believe that Olympias has great spirits, too. In fossil or spiroid form, sure, I could see that. But a physically manifested great spirit? Didn't see that coming. I would imagine that its existence here is only due to this being a fractured dimension. What kind of spirit is Asuka supposed to be? It's said to be the great spirit that commands the power of light. 
I hope its temperament is sunny too. I've learned not to expect too much from the temperaments of great spirits. I've had a bad experience or two. Tell me about it. Rowan, are there many other great spirits? Well, we've encountered the four great spirits of Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind, as well as the great spirits Celsius of Ice and Vault of Lightning. I've also read about Shadow, the great spirit of darkness, and Pluto, ruler of the underworld. And don't forget Muse, and then Lord Maxwell, who rules over them all. That's what most people believe. But some scholars believe there may be a great spirit even stronger than Maxwell. Stronger than Maxwell? Do they mean Kronos? I believe the possibility is high. Well, let's hope we never run into that guy then. <laughs>